tells us that the city is giving the developer a fair chance, but the residents say they don't want it. Do not need a cemetery in this area. I don't think the cemetery is the right thing to uh, put over there. The vacant land sits at the corner of Dixon Road and Officer Thomas catching Senior Drive. Neighbors tell us the 22 acres is owned by the Jackson Memorial Funeral Home. Cindy Ayers have been living in the West Jackson community for over 20 years. She says she would like to see the area developed, but just not with a cemetery. I choose to live here. I choose to work here. So we're trying to do things to help build our community, not bury it. Adding a cemetery to the area will not increase revenue in the area. Geraldine Rivers, owner of Shortstop Convenience Store, says as a business owner, she would like to see the property used to bring more people to the area. You can put a playground here for the people in the community, a school, daycare center, they could put apartment complex, they could put a number of things other than a cemetery. What does a cemetery pay in taxes? Nothing. What does it do to help improve our community? Nothing. So why would you come in or think you can come in because we are a low-income community and just put anything? The property is currently zoned for residential and commercial use, but it must be rezoned by the city before it can become a cemetery. We're going to give them due process. Even if we disagree with what they're proposing, we still owe it to the applicants to give them due process. A town hall meeting is set for Thursday evening so people in the area can give their thoughts. Let's talk about saying what we do want, because even um, if this um, this process fails, it's been applied for, we'll still have a, a, a business owner who has money for development who owns 20 acres of land right in the neighborhood. Nate Holmes, WJTV 12.